Hi guys, I'm Lena Mitchellick and today I'm really making this video for me because this is a question I get asked all the time and I want to have a video I can refer people to so I don't have to go into explanation and that is this question. Are you ready? Lena, what gun should I buy? Now I have gotten asked this by my chiropractor, by my bank teller, by my realtor. These are all brand new to firearms people. People have never bought a gun before. So it's, for me, I don't like giving a one answer, you know, like this gun. Well, what? <laughs> no, like every, there's so many different reasons that make a gun better for different purposes that I always go into this giant explanation and I don't have anything to show. So are you ready? Here I go. If you've never bought a firearm before, especially a pistol like these right here, I'm going to kind of run you through the pros and cons and why you would want one over the other. The number one thing that leads people that purchase guns to be unhappy isn't the actual firearm, but the fact that the firearm doesn't fit the purpose they have. And if you're brand new, I totally get that you don't really know the purpose you have for it. So I'm going to explain these four different platforms and kind of the pros and cons to them and give you a few examples so that you can find the gun that makes you the happiest and that fulfills the purpose you have. So first off, all of these guns in front of me are the exact same caliber. They all shoot a 9mm bullet. So caliber is out the window. So once you find what caliber you want or you don't know, guess what? 9 is a really good all around caliber. So we have 9mm. Now right down here we have a SIG 365. We have an X Compact, an X Carry, and an X5. That's a lot of X's I know and a lot of numbers and a lot of things. But look, this is the easiest way to look at it. If I were to make these on a scale, Easiest to carry, easiest to shoot. That's what makes these guns different and that's what makes them better for different purposes. So, what do I mean easy to carry, easy to shoot? This gun right here, it's easy to carry because it's so small. If I wanted to conceal this on my person, I would have a much easier time than this big thing. <laughs> this would be almost impossible for me to actually conceal on my body. Now, does that make this gun trash? No, that makes it for a different purpose. If I want to go to the range and shoot a thousand rounds, I can easily do that with this gun and it not wear me out. Why? Because, look at it. There's so much more for me to grab onto. The frame is bigger. It's considerably heavier, which helps with recoil management. The gun helps me shoot. All right. Has a longer sight radius, which means it's a little bit easier to shoot accurately. It also has a 17 round magazine, whereas down here I'm looking at a 10 round magazine, which is excellent for this size gun, but it's not as, you know, not as many bullets. Um, this gun is really lightweight once again, perfect for carrying all day. This is a gun that you can have on you all the time so that if anything were to arise, you actually have your gun on you. Now these ones in the middle, this X Compact and this X Carry are more your middle ground. This gun right here, it holds 15 rounds, has a little bit more weight on it if your hands are bigger. So say you pick this gun up and you're like, ugh, you know, it doesn't really, doesn't really feel that good in my hands. Well look, we got one, one step up. Now, pros, it's going to be a little bit easier to shoot. Got a little bit more weight to it, will help with recoil management, help you get your hands on it a little bit better. Sight radius will be a little bit longer, but it's still not as going to be as comfortable to shoot as this one. It's not going to be as easy to conceal as this one, but it's a solid middle ground choice. And then we have a little bit bigger, we have the X Carry. This one is even bigger than the Compact. So now we're back up to 17 rounds, just like this full size gun. We're a little bit shorter in overall length, as you can see compared to the X5. So it's going to be a little bit easier to carry on your person or in a purse or in your vehicle. So it'll be a little bit easier to shoot and a little bit harder to conceal than each of these. I know this is kind of a real broad term and a real broad kind of a video, but this is the easiest ways that I can show you because I, I hate it. I hate it when people go and they get a gun and then they're not happy. 
and then they want to blame the gun. Uh, no, guys, like, understand what you want. If I want something that I'm going to have on my person all the time, I'm going to for sure go with the tiniest gun possible because that's something I can guarantee for me to actually carry. Um, a lot of people will get talked into things that aren't necessarily fulfilling their needs. So the biggest thing is before you go and purchase a gun, realize what you want to do with it and what really matters to you. Is it super comfort or is it the ability to always have it? And then kind of look at this scale and see what, you know, what falls into it and what makes you happy in the end. And the best option of all is to find a range where you can shoot all of these guns. Um, I took a lady from my gym that had never had a firearm in her life before we went and these were all the guns <laughs> that we went out there and this is exactly what I did with her. I laid all of these out, I loaded them up, I told her the pros and cons of both and she shot all of them. She actually ended up going with this one, this nice little in-between. So get out there, know what you want before you buy and it'll make you so much happier in the end. <laughs>